Hey everybody, let me talk in this video about location listener. If you remember from previous video, when you want to get user location, we used get last location. But get last location would not update unless someone uh, open the map or open any, any application that dealing with map, you get the update for location. So what about if I want to do some application, for example, some application doing tracking for user location in real time? How I'd fix this problem? I need something working in background all the time whenever the GPS location is changed, he know about that. So the solution is will be with location listener. So to get work, I will continue with the same example that I have in the previous video. So you make sure you work in, you have the previous video and you see the previous video. So I click great in you. I will say I will name it my class, I will name it my location. This, uh, no, in this way. Name it any name you would like. I will say make this this class implement. Implement you mean you implement some interface. So I will implement location listener interface. If you see, he say, hey, you have something missing. If I click here, I click, okay, implement what I'm missing. You say, you need to implement this for methods. Okay, implement for me, please. If you see, there's four method. One of method, name it location change. This method will be executed whenever user location is changed. And he give you the new longitude and new latitude. So you don't need to open a Google map to see the new location. So this will be great. So you could, for example, adding some code here, whenever user location update, you send it to the server you to track user location. Here on status change, this method execute whenever the status of GPS change from enable to disable. This will be executed when the GPS status changes to the disable, when someone disable your GPS. This one execute when someone enable your GPS. So let me here try to display in message first the, the longitude and latitude. To display something in message, I need context, but this class doesn't have context. So I need to implement my context. So I say, okay, let me first define some context, and my context, I with context, then I implement the constructor that receives the context. See, if I want to access to UI, I cannot access unless I have context in my class. So the way I implement context here, I will get it in the, instruct, in the constructor and I initialize. So now when someone gets an instance from this class, he will send me the context. So I now I have the context in my class. So now I could access to it. For example, I want to display and message the last user location. I will say, okay, do make this context. I said in this context, then I need information for last location. If you remember here, how we get, how, how we have a message, the longitude and latitude, just let me copy it and have it here. Let me just have it to you as sitting location to be easy for you. Look in this way. So if you see, I have not here, sorry, should be here in this in this place. So if you see, I have this location that incoming that I have, I will be have it whenever the location change. So I will get the longitude for this location and I will get the latitude for this location and I have it in this variable. So now I want to display the message. Okay, here we go, display it. Then I say to us dot long then dot show. So I have the show. Now I want to make this to display some message when GPS is off. I will say, okay, GPS is enable it, for example. I want also some message display when GPS is disabled. And you could also, as I told you here, GPS status is changed. Status is changed. So this will count whenever the GPS status changes for for uh, uh, lo for uh, enable or disable. So this method will execute. So okay, I have everything is good. I have my method. I want to just run this method. So to run the service and make it work in background, I have to go here in my application and I just instead getting location this way, I will I will stop this code. I just adding some comment. Make this code is not working. Here you go. Then I here I will get user location. So to get user location, first of all, you have to have a new instance from the class, the my location listener. So my location listener, I will send it my look, a call a new instance from that class. And I will send it this. If you see, this is the way for us to access to the UI. So when this will send it here, it will be considered as a context. Then I context, I get it and send, so I, I could access to UI. 
Then I will take this line for location manager. I will add it here. Third of thing, I now I want to listen for something. What does that mean? I have location manager. I will say, okay, request on location update. Whenever the location update, which update for location? For location manager, do GPS approval. Whenever the GPS location is changed, send me updates. So how I would send update? I have to talk with two things. The, the, the space uh, or, the, or the length and the time. Let him make him send me the space every 30 millisecond and whenever he change at least 10 meter. So when he do this both this thing, please call this method. So what does this line mean? This line mean whenever the location changes 10 meter, please call this method. He will call this method. This method will fire this event only and you will see the location. But why I'm using time also? Sometimes you're driving. So the location, he, ch he take more than 10 meter. For example, he drive, he take 10 meter, for example, every one second. So you don't want him to send an update, update, update every one second. You say, okay, at least after th three seconds, even the location updated. Now, if he changed, if he get 10 meter and he still not, did not pass, did not like have time, as a three second from previous location, he will not he will not fire this this method, unless after if he if he take ten meter, after three second he will give give the update for location he will call this event. This one this way help you when you want work with uh, car driving and you want to avoid the http there is many http to the server and the server will be die because there is many http requests so to avoid uh, too many requests to the server and the server die this is most problem you will find it so just manage this time and this distance so how much distance you want the location will be sent to the server and how much the time between the one location either let me i i will not add too many i will say 13 millisecond and the distance will be every, let me say every five meter. Okay, because I'm using GPS, so I don't want to wait until three seconds or more than that. So let me just me run it. Here we go, the, the, the GPS is running. If I just send this location, see, I see this location now. If I just update the location now, let me, for example, I'm moving to another location. If I send it, you will see the location will be updated, should be updated in this one. So let me see, he see you see it. Change the location so one two three so now if, if also the someone he go to the location one two nine if i click it the location will be sended one two nine so whenever the location will be changed this one will be fired but at least five meter change in the location maybe you want to track the the update of the location every 10 meter 100 meter whatever you want to do do so this is basic example of getting a user location let me go to next video and see how we could send this location to the server